I don't know. I, 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 I need to figure that out. I mean, you guys have the hotel room. I almost wonder if I should just come over to the hotel and so we can do my makeup there and I can get ready. Yeah, I, I guess I'm going to get ready at the hotel. Yeah. I mean, it would be that big of a space, you know, I just, she's just going to do my makeup and then I'm going to get in my dress, you know, you know, I don't need a, okay, they officially moved, I actually, I need to go, I have to go see them soon, because that has turbo tax and I have to go buy a, All right, everyone, can you hear me? Shabbat Shalom, good Shabbos, Shabbat Shalom. We're going to begin our service on page 6 of our series. I'd like to welcome everyone, though, into our building for this very special Shabbat. The Shabbat current, we have many things that we are marking. One of which is today as being a day of international remembrance of the day of the Holocaust we're drawing attention to on this Shabbat specifically. And I'd like to take a moment for us, before we start a service, to have a moment of silence, just a few moments and seconds, before we begin our service on page 6 of our Sidereans, Shalom Aleichem. Page 6 of our Sidereans. Shalom Aleichem, Malachi Asharei, Malachi Elhem Yom. Tonight on International Holocaust Remembrance Day, we honor all those who perished during the Shoah, during the Holocaust. One generation comes into the world to be blessed with days of peace and safety. Another endures the cruelties of war. At this hour of memorial, we recall with loving reverence all those who perished during the Holocaust. We honor all those who were driven in multitudes along the road of pain and death. They perished for no sin of their own. That we know not forgotten, for we will take them into our hearts and we'll give them a place besides the cherished memories of our beloved. They are now ours. Uh, to light the first candle at this time. We light the first candle in memory of the helpless infants, children, and teenagers who were cut down like young trees before their time, before they had a chance to experience life. We will not forget. Yeah. 
He lights a second candle in memory of all those who died with their children in their arms. We will not forget. forget. We light the third candle in memory of all the mothers and fathers who were cruelly separated from their families. We will we not forget. forget. We light the fourth candle in memory of all the scholars, teachers, and rabbis who were murdered along with the priceless learning that was destroyed. We will not forget. We light the fifth candle in memory of the brave heroes of the resistance who were so few against so many. We will not forget. Not forget. We light the sixth candle in the memory of the righteous Gentiles who risked their lives and the lives of their families to save innocent people. We will not forget. forget. We light the seventh candle in the memory of all others who were killed in the Holocaust, the gypsies, the disabled, the political and social prisoners, the prisoners of war, the LGBTQ, the Jehovah's Witnesses, and many, many more. We, we will not forget. forget. are lit, we can prepare for Shabbat service now. We'll return to the theme of our evening for our sermon as we have a guest speaker for today. We'll turn now to page 7 in our Siddurims, page 7 of our Siddurims, as we'll be preparing to light the Shabbos candles. I'd like to invite up a volunteer to light our Shabbos candles for today. Come, let us welcome Shabbat. May his rays illuminate our hearts. Light is the symbol of the divine. The eternal is my light and my salvation. Light is the symbol of the divine within us. The human spirit is the light of the eternal. Light is the symbol of the divine law. For the mitzvah is a lamp and its Torah a light. Light is the symbol of Israel's mission. I, the eternal, have made you a covenant people, a light to the nations. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam asher kidshanu b'mitzvotav v'tzivanu lahad l'kner shel Shabbat. Amen. Blessed are you, O eternal, our God, who makes our lives holy through divine mitzvot and has commanded us to kindle the Shabbat lamp. May the eternal bless us with Shabbat joy. Amen. May the eternal bless us with Shabbat peace. Amen. May the eternal bless us with Shabbat holiness. Amen. We're going to now turn to page 11 of our sitterings. We're going to rise to the Hasi Kaj. Yiskada, le yiskada, shemei raba. Be al mati brach yurtei v'em lech malchutei. Be chanai yechon u yoimei chon u chayei dechol v'et Yisrael. Ba'ad gala, ba'ad gala, u'gizman karib yemaru, amen. Yehesh mei rabba mevorak, le'olam alom mei almaya yitvarak. Yitvarak v'yishtavak v'yitvahar v'yitramat v'yitnasein. V'yitadar v'yitzalem v'yitzalav shamei kudashan v'rehu. L'ayla mikob yechata v'shirata. To Shvecha Dalvenev, Nema Dal Daniran, Mialmat, Nemeru, Amen. Remain standing now for the Baruchu on page 12 of our Syrians. Baruchu et Adonai Hamivora, Baruch Adonai Hamivora, Leolam Banev. Baruch Adonai HaMivorach Le'olam Ba'ed Men standing on page 13 will join together for an English translation for creation. 
Eternal God, your majesty is proclaimed by the marvels of earth and sky. Sun, moon, and stars testify to your power and wisdom. Day follows day, and the succession and the years vanish, but your sovereignty endures. Though all things pass, not let your glory depart from us. Help us to become co-workers with you, and endow our fleeting days with abiding worth. Baruch atzah Adonai, Hamari Baravim. Blessed are you, O Eternal, who brings on the evening. Page 14, we'll join you together in addition at the bottom of the page. With eternal love, you love your people, the house of Israel, Torah and commandments, statutes and judgments you taught us. Therefore, O eternal our God, when we lie down and when we rise up, we will discuss your statutes and rejoice in the words of your Torah and your commandments forever. For they are our lives and they lengthen our days, and we will meditate upon them day and night. May you never remove your love from us forever and ever. Blessed are you, O eternal, who loves God's people, Israel. We'll now turn to page 15 of our Sidereans for the Shema. Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echod Baruch Shem Kivod Mayuchuto Le'olam Ha'ed You may be seated for the Be'al Hafta on page 16 of our Sidereans. <laughs> Thank you. Be et Adonai Elohecha, be'ol ha'vavcha, u'b'chol nafshecha, u'b'chol me'odecha, be'ayum ha'divarim ha'ele, asher ha'mochi mitzavecha, ha'yom ha'levavecha, v'shinatan levanecha, v'tivar tavan, Vishitika, the Viteka, Ulekika, or Derek, Ushakika, O Komeka, Ushatam the Oat, Ariadeka, Behind you, the Totafot, Veneka, Uktatan, and Mrs. Oat Viteka, Ubi Shareka, Lemantis Keru, Basi Ten, Echo Miss for Time, A Ten Kiroshin, Levolekan. Ani Adonai Elohechem, Asher would say to Yetchem, Mineret Mitzrayim, Leolagam, Elohim, Ani Adonai Elohechem, Adonai Elohechem, and that's. We're going to now turn to page 18 of our Sidereans from Mechamotha, page 18 of our Sidereans from Mechamotha. Mi kamoka bali madonai, mi kamoka netar vai koidesh, no rati lot o se felem. Mahutaka ro ubaneka, okay yam ifne moshe, ze eli anu vi amru, adonai hi loch le olam baed. Then Mark, he put out a man at Yako, the Lamia Kazaki Menu, but broke a tad and I. God is Join together for the, for the responsive reading on page 19, before we'll join together for the Amida prayer on page 21. The responsive reading begins, though, on page 19. Cause us, O eternal our God, to lie down in peace and to awaken us each morning to life renewed with strength. Spread over us the holy shelter of your peace. Curb also within us the inclination to do evil and shelter us beneath the shadow of your wings. Guard our going out and our coming into life with peace from this time forth forever. We turn now to page 21 for the Amidah prayer. We rise. Adonai sepratati taku fiya gita ilateka barukata Adonai Eloheinu, Elohei Avotainu, Imotainu, Elohei Abraham, Elohei Yitzhak, Elohei Yaakov, Elohei Sarah, Elohei Rika, Elohei Rachel, Elohei Leah, Ha'el HaGadol, HaKipur, 
We'll join together now on page 29 of our Syrians for Ose Shalom. Ose Shalom Bim Ramav, Uya Se Shalom Aleinu, Ve'al Kol Yisrael, Ve'imru Ve'imru Amen. Ia 
Yase Shalom, Yase Shalom, Shalom Aleinu Be'alko Yisrael, Yase Shalom, Yase Shalom, Shalom Aleinu Be'alko Yisrael, Yase Shalom, Yase Shalom, Shalom Aleinu Be'alko Yisrael, Yase Shalom. Yase Shalom, Shalom Aleinu Ve'alko Yisrael, Ve'amaru Amen. I'd like to invite Liz Rothman now to say some words on, as an introduction to International Holocaust Remembrance Day. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Liz Rothman. I am the chairperson of the Henry Rickless Holocaust Memorial Committee and the chairperson of adult education here at Congregation at Zion. The Knesset of the State of Israel, the United Nations, and Jewish communities throughout the world have all proclaimed the 27th day of January as International Holocaust Memorial Day. It is a day to remember the six million Jewish people and the five million members of other marginal groups who were murdered during the Holocaust. This particular day was chosen because it is the anniversary of the liberation of the Auschwitz-Birkenau concentration camp by the Red Army. Today, we are witnessing an alarming rise in anti-Semitism and extremism, which makes it even more important for all of us to recognize the critical lessons of the Holocaust, as well as to commemorate the victims and to honor the survivors. We must mark this day by sharing the truth of the Holocaust and by confronting anti-Semitism and hate in our daily lives. To quote Elie Wiesel, to forget would not only be dangerous, but offensive. To forget the dead would be akin to killing them a second time. We must always respond with humanity towards all victims of hate. We must oppose all hate speech, all anti-Semitism, all Holocaust denial, and all prejudice against any and all minorities. It is our duty as human beings to do everything that we can do to prevent future genocides from ever occurring. I'm really excited for we have a guest speaker here today. Sometimes I'll invite a guest speaker in this time of year or even on Yom HaShoah, and it will be an academic presentation from someone who has been working in the field of academia for decades or sometimes even a couple of years, and they'll share some of their publications, some of their work. Um, but it's important to note in almost in all of virtually those circumstances where I've called upon people who I have personal connections with friendships or develop professional relationships with. They're all speaking from the Holocaust from a secondary perspective. They're speaking from the Holocaust as those who not primarily observed the incidents, the events, in the 1940s and the 1930s. Today we have someone who can tell us from their primary observation point what it was like. Not only that, they've written about their experience, and so I'd like to really draw attention to Judith Sherman, who's you can stand up right now. Some of you may know Judith, others this may be the first time you've met her. Uh, but I'm really excited that she's going to be sharing a little bit about her story today. Uh, earlier about, I think it was two weeks ago, you shared with me two of your books, one of which was Say the Name. And it's an extraordinary story written and told in the voice of a 14-year-old Jewish girl from Czechoslovakia, whose life changed completely in 1939 when the Nazis invaded and you were separated from your family. And throughout the book, you see, the observer who read the book, can see through your eyes the horrors and the atrocities of Nazis, the deportations, the hidings, the imprisonments, 
and the attempt to survive daily under unimaginable conditions. The narrative includes poems and prose and speaks in two voices that the young girl, yourself in that voice, watched as her family was torn apart, murdered, and others in the voice of an adult survivor attempted to have a conversation with God asking whether he had been or whether he had noticed what had happened during the Nazi invasion as the world was redefined and terror ruled. Looking forward to hearing your words today and just for you to share with us some of your wisdom. So you can go right ahead. Yeah. Stay. You may stay there. I will move okay. the microphone I'm over. More comfortable the podcast. No problem. We have three standards now, and this one is this perfect. Can you hear me? Yes. yes. Say the name. Say the name. Announce, pronounce, recite the name. Six million times the name, the name. You must erase, you smash, the guest, erase the name. You can as well disdain their faith. I order you to script, engrave, imprint the name, and say, and say, and say the name. When every name is said and heard, repeat the name again, again. May you outlive eternity and say the name eternally. God, please attend. God, please assure that every name is accounted for. I write this poem to sort of jolt us into remembrance. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. As you have heard, today's International Holocaust Memorial Day. The theme this year is the fragility of freedom. For the next 15 minutes or so, I would like to focus on me and the fragility of freedom. By me, I'm thinking of all Holocaust victims because the each Holocaust experience is, was an individual experience, the Jew, we Jews all had in common the death sentence of the final solution. I do not die, but six million Jews and 11 million, non, and a million, and 11 million civilians were murdered by the Nazis, including my parents, brother, and most relatives. Today we know that Hitler's war was not only a war of conquest for Lebensraum or expansion, but also, and even primarily, a war of annihilation of the Jews, the Holocaust. It was my father's determination that when this law of the land comes to an end, all of us, some of us, maybe just one of us, will, make, will survive, will defy, will survive. This injunction was important, was my important survival brick throughout the Holocaust. But others with, some de with the same determination were not as lucky, were murdered. To escape deportations, I and my siblings crossed illegally into Hungary, and upon Iceland's deportation in Hungary, we were smuggled back to, to Slovakia, where the whole family went into hiding and my seven-year-old sister Miriam and I were taken into hiding by a brave, kind Christian family. Betrayal followed and imprisonment by the Gestapo, the most brutal Nazi group. After the escape from the Gestapo prison, Miriam was, was again hidden by another brave Christian family, and I was captured while in hiding in the forest, captured and imprisoned in Ravensbrück concentration camp in Germany. Oh, I do know the list of, restric of restrictions of freedom. Jews must, must, must. Jews are forbidden, forbidden, forbidden. But I'm so grateful for the memories I have of my early life, or before, before the after. Because of the morning sun and grandpa's jokes, because of the forest green and girls that green, because of ice cream cones and muddy slush between my toes, because of my messy bed and my brother's stupid head, because of all that, I am glad. And bread memories, always bread memories. This good season, so grain to flower, women folk will make the bread and all will smell the bread and smile, a serious aim and smile. And then Tara, a gun with a bayonet is pointing at my sleeping head. A nightmare this, happening, but it is real. Happening when I'm not quite ten. Why is he here, this man with the gun? What? Who yells at us in loud German? In the hall, against the wall, a gun is aimed at every head of uncles, aunts, my mom and dad. They find.
and in the leaf, they finally go. Now all of us know the taste and the feel of terror and fear. Jews must hand in valuables. We carry the old decorated mirror to the depot as ordered. This mirror is people with our family history. Woven into it are new hairstyles, new outfits, choices and hesitations, frugality and extravaganza. May the reflections of you, the new owners, reflect your greed and ugliness. My cousin Elsa and I yearn for the outside world. Elsa is 13 and I 11. We decide we will visit Vardayoske Kupala, a nearby spa town. The town is forbidden and travel is forbidden. What about the star, I ask Elsa. They do not want the star, so we go without, she said. We risk discovery and punishment if apprehended without it and imprisonment with it. Elsa's bravery and my desire propel me. We, of course, tell no one of our plan. In Bartevsky Kupala, we do all things forbidden to Jews. Sit on a park bench, enter a hotel lobby, enter a church, buy ice cream, pretend to use the public phone. And best of all, we walk on the sidewalk, which is forbidden to Jews, and do not elicit any special attention. Ordinary young girls, just ordinary. The Hitler Jugend are in town, Hitler Youth from Germany. Their high polished shoes match their high confidence. Ice cream in hand, Elsa and I pretend legitimacy, but not with the same confidence as those interloping Hitler Jugend. Not wearing the Jewish star and ask for such lightness of existence. I relish my visibility and absence of conspicuousness, I say. Elsa, can we sit on the park bench just one more time? Back home, relief reprimands from our parents. Sweet was that stolen act of freedom. Ravensburg concentration camp Germany. I hate it. I hate it. My young body is a liability. The lice in my hair and clothing, scabs, scabs on my hands, cold invades my every cell. Hurt, hunger, and the agony of thirst. Cough deprives me of non-existent energy. In spite of our shroud-like thinness, our bank is still too thin, for, too narrow for the four of us. And our non-existent mattress, too non-existent. We are forbidden shelter from sun and cover from rain. Yes, my body is a liability, but I try with all my non-existent might to hold on to it. Once you let the body go, once you give up, become indifferent, once you do that, the direction is always death, always death. Prisoner suicide is forbidden. Punishment if caught attempting suicide is attacked by the ferocious assess dogs, beatings, hanging. Punishment options are unlimited. There's no limit to their harshness. Harshness is the essence of the camp. In the camp, I examine the ground for something to chew on, grass, a twig, a leaf, all that grew was already uprooted by other hungry prisoners. Here nature mimics the Nazis, withholds and deprives. With spoon in hand, I practice eating, lest I forget, lest I forget. And since evening soup is an eternity way, I develop a system of distraction. I will think of every thought I ever had, every person I ever knew, every song I ever sang, every place I have ever been to. And then I think of new categories. But invariably, hunger intrudes, shatters my fantasies. As we finally eat our soup, we can hear and taste the grinding of dirt in our mouth. After soup, the women talk of recipes. How much sugar and flour is strudel, how many eggs to sponge cake. Everyone's recipe is full of food. We in the family forever. No talk of family, just food. That's easier. But family images come with recipes. Women prisoners feed themselves and each other on food memories. A futile gesture, but a survival rate. I am obsessed with the desire for my half bread ration, which I am saving for morning, seeming through a pair of Invariably, my sensible plan fails. 
Next morning is an uncertain, <coughs> uncertain eternity away. You cannot trust next morning. I eat my bread and pray for a dream, for a dream for, with food in it. Dear says guy walks by with his dog. He's, he's the ugly camp reality. He's young, fit, abusive, and intoxicated with Hitler's propaganda. On his helmet is the insignia of Totenkopf, better, and on his belt buckle, God mit uns, God with us. They claim monopoly of hell and of heaven. Deutschland über alles is the national anthem. Germany above all, meaning Germany is above everything and everyone. I pray, come Messiah, Lord, it will suit us fine if you make this Messiah time. It's not the apocalypse you cue to do the Messiah thing. The house goes. What luck. Luck is the best, most rich for currency in the camp. What luck. I'm transferred from the sick rock to the Siemens factory. Here the soup is thicker and I've held all cold shorter. But the slightest suspicion of sabotage in this Siemens armament factory results in being hanged, shot, or sent to the nearby gas chamber. In this sub camp, the toilets are outside the barrack. I go there on my first evening. Suddenly the watch the watchtower guard shouts, Help, help! He shouts, I run. He shoots, I run. I keep running and he keeps shooting. I do not see the bullets, but smell them all around me. I manage to reach my barrack where all are awakened by the shooting. The dog is opened by the Brock Elkis, the, the prisoner supervisor. She whispers angrily. How can they keep an eye on you in the dark, you stupid, stupid Jew? Snell, order, must alles normal. She pushes me angrily onto my bunk. She's terrified lest the SS enter to investigate the shooting. My presence outside would be seen as an attempt to escape. Nothing in the register more than escapes. They take that personally. The supervisor would be held responsible. She would be shot, I hang, and the whole barrack punished. I should be worrying about the sh I should be worrying about the shooting, the hanging, and the communal punishment. But all I can think of is the pink casco. How does she manage a pink casco in Ravensburg? How? In my past, I could have worn a casco. I know of that. But the bullet into my body, a noose around my neck, my mind refuses. The night passes without SS intrusion. And at soup times, the rock artist puts a whole potato into my soup, perhaps to celebrate that they're both still alive. To this day, I'm royal to potatoes, never pasta, always potatoes. When I visit my grandchildren, I bring no treats. I bring home fried potatoes, my treat. That much. Hitler orders prisoners to leave camp in order not to fall into enemy hands. The enemy is the approaching Allied army. After days of marching, even our guards are tired. No more march, schnell, no more verfluchte Jude. They just shoot us wordlessly. Liberation. We are liberated by Russian soldiers. I mean, we are in contrast. Plentiful potatoes, bread made of flour and not sawdust. Death, stand aside. Do not hover by my side. I run, I hum, I'm everywhere, I'm everything. Help to his freedom is allowed. I have others and others have me. Allow this freedom, help this freedom. Yes, yes, that is full freedom. But there is one credibility, credibility of liberation that I dare not challenge. I do not check the daily Red Cross lists of non survivors. In camp, I could count as out of the union with my family, but now I fear the other. Back home in Kurima, Slovakia, that ugly reality hits. Only Miriam and I return. We survivors had also hoped that after the Holocaust, terror and anti-Semitism would cease. But anti-Semitism and Holocaust denial is on the rise, as a genocide across the world. The solution, Deborah Liptat said, preventing anti-Semitism and preventing the restriction of freedom must start in the kitchen. And so, on this day of Holocaust commemoration, I invite the whole world into the kitchen. Today, we are fully committed to never again, and we, and we, and we ask the world to stand with us.
So after can you hear me? Yeah. Okay, very good. All right. So afterwards we will um, have an opportunity to talk a little bit after our um, after our service, and I invite everyone to stick around for that as well. So we're going to now turn to the Misha Vera prayer. It's found at the very back of our sitterings. The very back of our sitterings, we have the Misha Beira prayer. I'll be reciting names from our Misha Beira list. After the names have been read aloud, I'd like to ask if there's anyone who would like to add any names to that list, to please include those names to that list for today. Today's Misha Beira list includes the following names. Miriam Mendel ben Shira, Nachman ben Malka, Shlomo Le ben Malka, Israel Ruben ben Devora Elka. Alan Lewis, Esther Barruth, Yehuda Ben Joseph, Russ Pinari, Gerald Longmore, Sissy Curlin, Isidore Schiffman, Yvette Zamos, Michael Berkowitz, Susan Sklar, David Rothschild, Ellen Rosenbaum, and Holly Matthews, Jessica Herman, Phil Miller, John Zwally, Brian Leibowitz, Lynn Innsberg, Sam Perlman, Irma Lenschner, Sarah Lenschner, Stanley Levitt, Myra Levis, Rabbi Ellen Darno, Kelly Gustava, Wendy Sansevierni, Sharon Lenschner, Jen Funchel, Gerald Longmore, Ida Lawford. Are there any additional names anyone would like to have added to the list for today? Carol Lichtenstein. Carol Lichtenstein. Dolly and Roger Bloomfield. Dolly and Roger Bloomfield. Corky Hockenberry. Corky Hockenberry. Uh, Richard Bell. Richard Bell. Gina Pasternak. Gina Pasternak. Bob Goldner. Bob Golda. Goldner. Goldner. Arnie Albach. Arnie Albach. Alan Kaplan. Alan Kaplan. Fran Benjamin. Fran Benjamin. Bruce Estrin. Bruce Estrin. And uh, Susan Harris. Susan Harris. Susan said a prayer for you. Linda Hernandez. Linda Hernandez. Gloria Morrison. Gloria Morrison. And Marilyn Lowenthal. Marion. Marilyn Lowenthal. Marilyn Sablitz is what I'll this week. Go ahead. Uh, Barbara Allen Steinberg. Barbara and Alan Steinberg. Aaron Evers. Kali Goldstein. Kali Goldstein. And Frank Klein. Frank Klein. Gabriel Lebecki. Gabriel Lebecki. And Lois Flambel. <coughs> Lois Flambel. Henry Lopez. Henry Lopez. Thank you. Once again, the words to the Misha Bear prayer can be found at the very back of our sitting Today we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to rise as the ark is being opened. Misha Bear, Avote, Lumekor, Abrecha, Reimote, May the source of strength who bless the ones before us. Help us find the courage to make our lives a blessing. And let us say, Amen. With the the renewal of body, the renewal of spirit, and let us say, Amen. We remain standing now for the Elenu prayer found on page 30 of our Sidorines. Once again, the Elenu may be found on page 30 of our Sidorines. Aleinu l'shavet l'adon ha'kol a'tei k'tulal yotzei adreshi Shalom 
Bennett Sr. Jonathan Bennett Sr. Um, Zoe Levinson. Zoe Levinson. Patrick Callahan. Patrick Callahan. Judith Harris. Judith Harris. Roger Fogelman. Roger Fogelman. Lillian Shapiro. Lillian Shapiro. Uh, Gail Marcus. Gail Marcus. And Muriel Sheffern. Muriel Sheffern. Pointing to our day, I'll also draw attention to the memories of the six million, and in addition to the six million and the poignancy of our day, we'll draw attention to additionally to them, 1,400 Israelis who passed on October 7th. Remain standing in their memories today. The Mourner's Cottage is on page 33 of our sit <laughs> Be Hayekon of Yoimekon, who Haye the whole Beit Israel, while Gala is man carried the Imru Amen. 
Yahesh may Rabban Nivarak, the Alam Lame Al Maya, Yit Barak, the Yishtabak, the Yit Kahar, the Yit Raman, the Yit Nasay, the Yit Hadar, the Yit Halev, the Yit Halal, Shemay, the Kudusha, the Rekhu, the Ela, Miko, the Hadza, the Shirata, Tush, the Hadza, the Nekamata, Yamiran, the Alman, the Imru Amen, Yahesh Lama Rabba, the Shamaya, the Chaim Alenu, the Al Ko Yisrael, the Imru Amen. O se shalom bi Roma, who ya se shalom, aleinu bi al-kol Yisrael, bi imru amen. May the source of peace and peace to all who mourn and comfort all who are bereaved, and let us say, Amen. You may be seated. We now have a moment for some announcements. Saturday, January 27th, Torah study at 10 o'clock a.m., worship at 10.30. Donations for Israel, you can find the information on our weekly email. Havdalah dinner and cabaret, Saturday, February 3rd, 5.15 p.m., includes Fred and Murray dinner, $36 per person. More information on weekly email. Lynn, anything else? Uh, we extended the deadline till Sunday, so you can still register. Matadim is January 31st, Hebrew School January 31st, Gesher February 1st. The Henry Rickless Holocaust Memorial Committee will be meeting February 7th at 2 o'clock p.m. New members are always welcome. Uh, Blood Drive is February 11th. The Yom HaShoah this year will be with Monroe Township and will be at the Senior Center and will be held on April 28th. Thank you. We're going to now turn to page 34 of our Sidorim, Shra Adon Olam. Page 34 of our Sidorim, Shra Adon Olam. Adon Olam, Asher Malach, Beterem Kol Yitzir Nibra, Leit Nasa Vechel Sokol, Azai Melech Shemo Nikra, Biyachai Trei Kilot HaKol, Lebado Yimot Nora, Ehu haya ve'hu obe, ve'hu iya v'tifara, ve'hu echad v'ein sheni. Le'ham shilo le'ach b'ira, v'li reishi v'li kakli, ve'lo ha'oz v'ham yisra, ve'hu e'li v'chaya go'eli. V'tzor v'hebli v'yisora, Behu nisi umanosli, menat kosi beyom ekra, biya ado akid ruhi, biye tishan miya ira, im ruhi gaviati, adonai li velo ira. We're going to conclude our service with Hatikva. Liz, please rise for Hatikva.
Thank you, everyone, for being part of our service. We're going to now join together for the Kiddush as well as for the Hamotzi. Do we have any volunteers for anyone who would like to volunteer for the Kiddush as well as the Hamotzi? Everyone is pointing to Stephen. It's going to be Stephen this evening. Good Shabbos, everyone.